Welcome to the series where I solve murder mysteries as a detective, along with you. The first game we'll be playing is Sherlock Holmes Crimes and Punishments. Before we start, if you want to join me in these mysteries live, then check out my Twitch where I'll be streaming these cases at least once a week. With that said, let's get into the video. Once again, I just want to establish I have not played this. <laughs> So I've not even I've not even tested it. I haven't played a single second of gameplay. So let's hope I let's hope I don't mess this up. And he's reading. That's already better than me. Is that XQC playing an FPS game? I'm so hey, hey, what? Hey, stop shooting! Holmes, how could you? It's the only exercise I've had all week. A grateful client from Limoges sent me this one American exercise. <laughs> Just shooting guns. Inspector Lestrade pays a visit to Baker Street, where he relates to Holmes. The grotesque affair that involved the former captain known as Black Peter. If this is annoying, it's. I'm sorry. <laughs> Peter Carey, also known as Black Peter, born in 1845 and so 50 years old. He achieved great success in whale hunting in Scandinavia. Retired in 1884. Eventually moving to Woodmansley. He also retired to the next life because I'm pretty sure he's dead. Anyway, <laughs> let's leave, please. Woodman's Lee. There we go. Progression. That's crazy. Let's go, boys. We solved the first case. Get out of the room. Let's go. That doesn't mean she's a killer. I'm not saying that. I don't know what British language that is, but I'm not saying that. <laughs> Interesting British language, man. Interesting bit of British language. He's definitely... Ha okay, I can already kind of put things together. So he's, he's been extremely angry on the day that he's killed, which means that there's a chance that they had an argument of some sort probably with someone. You know, he's drunk, probably did something brain dead, got into an argument, and that's why he was extra angry when he came home. Now, that doesn't mean she's innocent, so she doesn't cl clearly like him either because she doesn't really speak of him nicely. So I'm not, I'm not clearing you just yet, lady. Talk to this guy. Body is inside the cabin. Can I Don't enter though? Oh my, we can enter, we can enter. Oh my god. <laughs> nice. The door is locked. Oh my Wait just a moment, Mr. Holmes, and I'll open it. Hello, hello, hello. Hey, what is it, Lestrade? It seems to me that someone has tried to force it, Mr. Holmes. Ooh, let me see. Scratches. These scratches are fresh. How do you know if they're fresh? Uh, sorry, I actually know them. Uh, You're right. Someone tried fresh. to force open the door. Is this gonna play the same cutscene? Oh, oh, okay, let's go, boys. Let's go. Oh, cu- Oh, curse. Oh, cu that wasn't the nicest of deaths. Okay, I, I think he's dead. Okay, so look, what I was gonna say is before we got interrupted by this rude dead body. <laughs> no, what I was gonna say. Basically, this guy, he had a fight on the day that he died, right? He came back home super mad. He was drunk. Clearly some fight happened. This was probably done on the spot, in the moment. Which means... Our killer here is a, is a person who fought with this guy who had an argument. So this guy definitely met with the killer beforehand. This wasn't a random kill. So now we just have to figure out who's actually the person he met with beforehand that had an argument with. That's all we have to solve. Ooh, there's a knife. Did he try to fight back? This supports... That might be his weapon. And he was trying to fight him. And that's why they were fighting. And then in the moment, the other guy beat him. And then this is, this is his fate. Check this notebook, that might give a hint on who he was talking to, because he might have written something about it. Rotate the object. J-H-N. That's... Oh, wait. Wait, J-H-N does not refer to his name. I was going to assume that that was his name. Okay, this is the initials of whoever was here. Anyway, examine. So now we're going to compare with Carrie's boots. It's too small. They don't match. They don't match. So it's not his footprints. Which means whoever walked this way is not, uh, what's it called? This policeman is so useless, bro. He's been sitting and examining this thing for like 20 minutes. <laughs> it's done nothing. Uh, anything else? Ooh, 
Uh, guys, how did we miss this? <laughs> how did we miss... Hmm. <laughs> Ooh. So, Kalili, it's someone who's basically relaxed with him or talked to him, basically. You would say it would be the wife, but I... Look, this takes a lot of muscle, bro. Like, I'm not... Look, I'm not trying to violate the lady. Okay, I'm sorry. But this looks like some, like, big buff, like, gym guy doing this. Like, who, who does this? I, um, look, I'm not going to rule the ruler out, but uh, it definitely seems like something in the moment. Person was just cornered, angry, and I picked whatever he found on the wall and then stabbed. But let's uh, look around. Suspe- Ooh. Which means something was there. I told I what did I say? That might be his weapon. Easy. The initials PC have been crudely burned. We already know this is for the guy who's dead. Peter Peter what about his name? Peter Carey. Did I just make a little dead person? Maybe, but look, I'm sorry. I forgot. We can open the notebook! Oh my god. We can open the notebook. We can open the notebook. We can open the notebook. <laughs> ASM. All these numbers. ASM. TY. BRS. Okay. This guy has a lot of connections. Deductive reasoning. They all don't match. Huh? What? What? An ambush must be made tonight to see if the break in attempt will be repeated. What? So, what do you propose? We shall remain on the outside, near the window, where we stand the best chance of catching sight of our visitor. Well, gentlemen, ready your pistols. Ooh, we have a let's go. So that means the breaking was done by someone else. Wait a second. So when this guy was killed, they were sitting down drinking, which means he was aware of the presence of the killer. He was aware, he was talking to them, which means it wouldn't be a break-in at the time of the murder because they were talking at the time of the murder, it's not like the guy broke in and was an intruder because they were literally relaxing together. And you don't just, you know, when someone breaks into your house, you don't go, oh, have a seat, man, let's drink. <laughs> you don't do that, <laughs> right? So clearly, the break-in didn't happen at the time of the murder. It happened the day before, as Sherlock said. The break-in was done by a completely random person, and now, you know, now that they failed the break-in, they're probably gonna come back in. That, that probably means they're a completely different person to the killer. Because there's no way you kill someone and you come back to break into someone that you killed. The only reason you'd break in is if you don't know that he's killed, which means you're not the killer and you're just a separate criminal who's trying to rob him, right? Let's go! Get him, boys! Hey, Mr. Holmes, come and see what we've caught in our net. Exactly. Shall I tell you? You came to retrieve what you had lost after killing Peter Kelly. Wait, 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 wait. But you can't! I'm not... It's a terrible mistake! Wait. You can explain all of that to the judge. Nah, nah, she looks wrong, man. Coming with me to the yard. Nah, nah, nah. But in light of recent events, it seems evident that you're there's two criminals. So I'm thinking there's a murderer and there's a robber. We caught the robber, but that doesn't mean we have the murderer. They're not one and the same. They're two different people. Let's see what he had. Wait, what? Wait, wait, guys, guys, guys. Wait a sec. JHN, that's his. The only way this person is innocent is if he dropped the notepad the day before, Peter didn't notice it, left it there, then got stabbed, and then the blood went on the actual notepad which was on the floor. Otherwise, it's this guy. But at the same time, I kind of feel weird accusing this small boy when the footprints were so big and Peter, who's a pretty strong guy, got fully overpowered. Well, well, well. <laughs> Time to speak, buddy. Tell me, Mr. Nelligan, did Mr. Carey try to defend himself or to attack you with it? So it is. I don't know. I didn't kill anyone. He's been in a fight. There's a patch, which means it was well, ripped. I will see you soon, young man. Oh, this man says. Let me go. I'm innocent. I don't believe you anymore. You sounded innocent, but hands like that. 
and the person we already established, the person who fought Peter Carey, or killed him, was in a fight with him initially. It wasn't just a clean kill. So you're looking utterly suspicious, buddy. So what do you have to say for yourself? Yes. Joshua Nelligan was my father. What? I am aware oh, it's his dad. had a bad ending. When the bank failed, it ruined half the families of Cornwall. Whereupon Joshua Nelligan disappeared. Dad left, huh? My father was under extraordinary pressure. Dawson had retired. I was only ten years of age at the time, but it was still old enough to feel the shame that befell our family. Hmm. We believed that his vessel went down, taking with it everyone and everything on board. Thank you for the story, yeah. Mr. Nelligan. Yes. At last, we are making some progress. Mr. Holmes, I'm glad to see you. Okay. As always, what happened? We have a new suspect, Liam Hurtley. I'm thinking that this case will be resolved very quickly now. Ooh, new suspect. Well, Let's see if he's actually strong. That I left at Wood. You are a suspect in a murder case. I know. Inspector Lestrade told me. It's ridiculous. Could you at least tell me who you are? And exactly what happened that you should be See, this is a bigger guy though. Like he could actually have the strength to Hurley. kill that person. That I can tell you. But you're not getting any more than that. Well, we shall see. This man This man is suspicious. Hurtley's big boots. We're gonna grab these or we're gonna compare the footprints. We're gonna compare this with that new boots we got. Watch this be a match. It's a match. It's a match. It's Liam. It's Liam. Liam walked in and did the kill. And no wonder he's not saying anything. And he threatened the wife. And so when we asked the wife, she goes, I don't know. Uh, the gardening was done by, by us only. Even though there's a missing extra gardener who would have done this. There's no way one person did all of this. We already know it's Liam, but we need to get a good motive. Remember, like, this is in a court case. You can't just say, oh, the footprints match. Arrest him. It's not that simple. Recover Hurtley's letter. Let's see what he actually had. Agent. Oh, it was a hit job. Oh my. I did as you asked and hid them well. Interesting. Oh, wait. I have a theory. What if the wife told Liam to do the job? Then he did the job. Then the wife was like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cover your tracks. Don't worry. And that's why when we asked the wife, remember, she lied. When we asked, who does the garden? She said, Peter does her, himself, which is not true because they have a gardener, which she lied to us about. The issue with this theory, though, is that we're not taking into account Nelligan's whole story, John Nelligan. We, we don't have any idea how he relates to it, if that's the true story. So we're going to have to figure that out. But we're going to go interrogate him. Hey, Mr. Hartley, what were you doing at Woodman's Lee? Woodman's Lee? I've never been there. That's bold-faced lie, buddy. Bold-faced lie. What a weasley little liar, dude. <laughs> I did as you asked. And hid them well. Should I? Exactly. My letter. But, but the ink. ink. You're a smart one. But it's nothing. If you want to know, I was referring to my tools. It was to do with my work, see? Oh, who was the message to them? The I flowers? That doesn't make any sense. That's all for now. Talk Her about cat, bro. Are false leads, but now I know one thing for certain. I must examine the site where the garden tools are kept at Woodman's Lee. Our tools are kept inside the shed that's right behind me. It is the key to open it. Oh, you feel a little scared now, huh? Guess what? You better be, because you lied. Does the name Liam? Hurt? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they... no, I don't know anyone by that. Name. Okay. Uh, still lying. Doubling Thanks down, you. huh? Ill-fitting plank. Oh, oh, there's a fake plank. Open it up. Let's go. That's the wooden box we're talking about. That matches the dust. Aha. Uh -huh. This is going to be valuable. <laughs> Wait, what? Totally? Oh, cause. They lied to cover each other's backs. And of course, now the motive makes sense. They're cheating on the victim. Oh, time for interrogation. Time for interrogation. You liar. You liar. I am aware of your affinity. Exactly. Exactly. What are you going to say now? What are you oh, about? oh, what? You lied to me this whole time? That's crazy. This is terrible. 
Oh, so she didn't ask him. Well, the theory adds up. But the only thing is, I don't think the wife was responsible. Now remember, despite the story connecting pretty well with the wife and old cheating scandal thing, there's still Nelligan to worry about, right? We found the sailors from that list. Found the sailors, yep. Well done, Wigan. Let me see. James Lancaster, Helmsman, Patrick Kings, Harpooner. Oh, uh oh, Harpuna. This man is a Harpooner, and his initials are EC, the same initials that were found on the tobacco pouch. Wait. Wiggins, could you gather some information on one of the sailors that you found? Wait, wait, wait. Wait, this is insane. This story keeps changing. PC's initials of the victim, so we thought it was the victim. However, the, the victim doesn't smoke, so it didn't make sense. So PC wasn't for the victim the whole time, it was for someone else. PC was on this wallet, or this like tobacco packet, that was on the crime scene. And guess what? PC, or Patrick, here, is a person who goes to the pub. The victim was literally known, or was reported, to be arguing on the way back and they were having a drink there was two cups two drink cups on the table where they were both him and someone else were having a drink they were having a good time and then an argument broke out the victim hold out a knife and then the guy killed him with what a harpoon what is patrick a harpooner if things aren't aligning i don't know what is okay it's not liam so we can't alert him that we're onto him, otherwise he'll immediately just shut up and not say anything. We're gonna have to just casually get him to self-incriminate. So let's go get a sailor outfit. This is such an interesting case. It changed like three times. We first thought it was the robber, who was just a robber at the crime scene. Then we thought it was Liam because of the cheating scandal. But the cheating scandal doesn't mean that they killed. So we wrongly assumed that they would kill. But in reality he didn't. And it's actually PC, which is Patrick Kings. Let's talk to this guy. What do you want? Well, you've heard all about the gambling on our recipe here. You seem like the likely sort, and I'm up for it. Good accent, good Stop accent. Ten shillings. Oh, curse. Oh, curse. Look, guys, I solve cases. I don't. Oh, no. Am I really gonna lose 10 shillings to this guy? Come on, man. Guys, I'm, look, I'm a detective, I'm not... Can I retry, please? <laughs> That's the arm that killed a hundred and people. killed P. Really Let's go. Again. Fine. If you want me to take all your money... Kids, yeah. don't gamble. <laughs> don't gamble. Why am I tensed in real life? Let's go! Let's go! I'm a harpooner. Yeah, we saw it from the body on the wall. A harpooner. Interesting. You've had a lot of adventures, I bet. Very interesting. Uh, of course. It's been a, a few days ago, I sale. killed this guy with a harpoon. Okay. Damn Black Peter. Black Lawyer. Peter. Black Spider Peter's the victim. Too. Swigging those fists of his around. Oh, the tyrant. And not much of a captain. Harpooner. I see. Yes. I was told terrible tales about. Black Very Peter. smart. Tell me, and let's have another drink. Ooh, open up a bit more. He's opening up. Peter Carey. Who? Oh wait, what if it's John? I swear, no, if it's his dad? I don't know. His dad? It's the Nelligan. The Nelligan father. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Tin box. He disappeared. Just like the father. Nobody knew what happened to him. Of course, nobody could ask Black Paper about it. If you don't know, John Nelligan is the person who tried to rob the crime scene. He was looking for his father. Who 
went on a ship and disappeared. Things are adding up, huh? You know what happened, don't you? I do. I saw the skip oh. tied in to push him over the way in the middle of my watch on that dark night. Two days before we sighted the ship the lights. Black Peter's a murderer. Aye. Black Peter killed him. I wouldn't be surprised to hear it. But all this will stay between us. Alright? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm not a detective or something. Don't, don't worry, bro. Lance Pouch. Be back in a second. Are you both here, Hussey? I'll be here with my drink. Here it is. Have you got any tobacco? We've run out of one. This guy is so smart. I've lost my pouch. I don't know where. It is his pouch. What's this? He's admitting. He he just admitted. He just admitted. We're just going over the fact that we solved the mystery of John Nelligan's father. No one knew he died, and the guy literally we just did like a few arm wrestles. <laughs> we took a drink and he started talking, and he told us that Peter, who's the dead guy, actually was responsible for killing. John Nelligan's father. Nelligan's innocence. John Nelligan is a victim of circumstance. He does not fit the portrait of the murderer either by physical or psychological description, which I do agree with from the beginning. Okay, so there's a lot of things happening around this murder that aren't related to the murder, but because they're near the crime scene, they keep meddling with our story. Firstly, there's the Nelligan's innocence thing, which is the whole story of Nelligan trying to rob the place looking for evidence of his missing father. But he was then mistaken for the murderer because he walked in at the wrong time. Another victim of circumstance. Then, then there's a whole secret relationship between the victim's wife and Liam. That proved that Liam was there at the crime scene, but not necessarily for the reason of murder. Because we do remember we found the footsteps of Liam. That just means he's there, that doesn't mean he killed someone. Right? So that's another story them cheating and not wanting to admit it that's a separate story separate to the murder that's two stories that's been meddling our vision now that those are aside all that's left is cans and i guess we have to go that he's guilty we have no other connections we could have been wrong this whole time this is the scary part of these detective games we could be wrong it's not linear but i think we put the final nail in the coffin cans literally admitted to having a motive on why he would hate the victim because he saw the victim kill John Nelligan's dad. And he's had some very terrible stories about, you know, Peter. So he has every reason to kill him. And he is strong, literally gets money from arm wrestling, and he's a harpooner. It can't be more perfect. And he admitted to being on a crime scene without knowing. Because he said, that is my pouch, when we gave it to him, or implanted the pouch, when that pouch was found on the crime scene. And so, he drinks... There was two cups on the table where the guy was dead, which means he was where Peter was drinking with someone before he died. Kansas guilty. He has been found guilty of the murder of Peter Carey and must be punished. Or we can absolve Kansas. Peter Kansas killed Peter Carey, but the murder was not premeditated. It was done in the heat of the moment. That does mean it wasn't premeditated. We know it wasn't premeditated. And we know it was a fight. He used the harpoon that was on the wall in that very room that he was talking to Peter Carey. Which means he never planned to murder, which means this is not premeditated. I confirm this murder choice. Let's go. Good afternoon. I must be at the wrong address. But I speak with a ship's captain, a eh? Captain Ahab. Is that you? No. My name is Sherlock Holmes. Oh, he got baited. Detective fella. So, you wanted to see me? That is correct. We need to talk. You don't recognize this face. About, what? about Black Peter. He's <laughs> killed in his own hut with a heart. That was his own, by the way. You know, don't you? Yes. Hell. The tobacco pouch. You recognized it. Yeah, we talked to you earlier, buddy. The sailor. It was you. Unbelievable. Well, we were right. Go. He did it. You really do know everything. You should also know that I didn't want And I knew that as well. He made I... me do it. 
I know. It was self-defense. Did you know about this? Oh, what a great first case. We literally solved it to the, to the dot. I just wanted to cough up a little silver. I'm out of work, and I thought maybe he could help. He's a friend. And he refused outright, and he insulted me. Which is John Ludin's father. Then he got mad when I spoke about his treasure. I barely just had time to throw the harpoon at him before he could jump at me with his knife. We knew it. You know the truth? What will you do now? It is better that you leave the country for a few years. And you won't say anything to the police? I will not no. say anything as long as you return the money. Because, well, I mean... I'll do as you ask. If it's an act but of self-defense... expect a stride. I will deal with him. Okay. Goodbye. Just real quick, this is a big moral dilemma. And remember, this game has multiple endings. I could have done something else. You saw. I cannot thank you enough. It's all because of you that this nightmare is finally over. You are a genius. What well, can I say? <laughs> <sense. laughs> <laughs> Got the right ending. And there you go. That's our first case of many. Happy first